This lesson we'll be talking about linked lists versus arrays. Um, these are two of your basic data structures that you use in programming. Python happens to only come with uh, one of these structures as a uh, as a base data structure in the in the language. There are ways to get to the um, array data structure, but for the most part, it just uses lists. Um, the main reason that they that they differ is they really have a behavior difference and speed difference doing different types of functions in your programs and so that's where you really want to look at the uh, when you would use one versus using the other and then we'll talk about that in just a second. First let's talk about how they are structurally different. So when you look at um, the way that a array is put together it looks somewhat like this and when you look at it, it's got an index and then it's got the value stored at the index and so each item you put in, and in this case they're all numbers right here, here, and here, these are all numbers and that's one of the things that's kind of a a must in an array is that all this, the data that you're storing has to be the same type so in this case they're all numbers <coughs> and so what you're able to do is is that when this is created, if you create it, and you can see this is a this is a different set of code. This is C++ code. But when you create it, you tell it the things that are going to be in this array right here, and you, that's how it creates it right there. And so what the, what the computer does, and what your compiler does, or IDE does, when it puts it together, is it maps out this much memory, enough memory for four numbers in memory from start to finish. And uh, that makes it so that I can go, if I want to start at the first memory location, so where's my first number located? I go zero times the size, and that gets me to the first spot in memory where my number is. And since they're all the same size in memory, even though the numbers are different, they, they take up the same amount of memory. And so I can go, if I want to go to the next spot, I say one times the size of the, what it is, and that gets me to right here in my memory and then I read out that much memory and that gets me the number five and then if I want to get to the third item I just go three times the size of what's in here and that gets me to right here and then I can read that out so what I have is I've got direct access to each item in here and that can be very fast if I want the third item I just do one little math problem I get right to that one linked list is a little different in the fact that these are your memory little memory slots each one of these is a different space in memory if you want to look at it that way and the way that you find out where the next item is is this points to the next memory location so when I create the list this right here would be the first memory location so 12 and uh, would be my first spot and then when I added a new one I can put the memory location there and I point to that new spot that memory was created and now we've got two items and then I go ahead and when I add another one I create a pointer as well in this memory location to the next one and so on and I can keep doing this forever so here if I try to add memory because it's in order well there's something else here at this end of the memory and therefore I can't expand this memory anymore whereas here since I can put the next spot in any place in memory and just point to it then I can expand this list down here so this one doesn't expand and this one can uh, basically be endless in size and so one of the big things here is is that well why would I have them different well this one has fast access to each item but in this case if I want to get to the third item I have to go here and ask it where the next one is then I go here and ask it where the next one is and then I go here and this is where I find it so every time I want to access this data structure I have to go through the list to find where things are so that can be a little bit slower so why does this data type exist in this one you know, why wouldn't I just use this one since this one is so much faster well this one grows and on top of that what if I want to include a new item in here well if I add a new item a new node to my memory all I have to do let's say that I was adding this one and so this one originally points here and I want to add this one in well all I do is I point this one at this one and then I take that and point it at that that's two operations for me to add this here if I want to insert something in first off there's no more room to insert a new item but if I did let's say I made this a five my originally did it at a, at a size five and I want to insert one in here to insert one in, I actually have to move this one down and this one down. And so if there were a million items in my array, to insert one item in, I'd have to do a million operations in order to get to move all of them out of the way and insert one item. So it's two operations no matter what 
to get a new item into here where it can be a you know it can be a massive amount of work just to insert one item. So these are better for insertion. These are better for direct access. These are faster for that. These are faster for insertion and removal from the list.